Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vinnie Williams, and I am the proud principal of Barstow STEM Academy. I would like to welcome all of you to our promotion ceremony for the STEM Promoting Class of 2021 and the Barstow Aztec Class of 2025. Tonight's event was recorded over the course of three days. We held small, in-person ceremonies where students could cheer for their classmates as they finished up their time here at STEM, and we held drive-through events for families to see their students take their first step into high school. The staff of the Barstow STEM Academy was honored to share in these moments alongside our students and families. We thank you for making the choice to learn here at STEM, and we thank you for joining us tonight. Before we start, I would like to acknowledge the leadership of the Barstow Unified School District, starting with our Board of Trustees. Board President Ben Rosenberg, Board Vice President Chris Okamoro, Board Trustee Julie Clemmer, Board Trustee Ray Perea, and Board Trustee Michael Watson. Our district administration at Barstow Unified School District makes it possible for us to do what we do here at Barstow STEM Academy. I would also like to thank and acknowledge them this evening. Mr. Jeff Malin, our superintendent. Mr. Derek Delton, assistant superintendent of personnel services. Mr. Scott Godfrey, assistant superintendent of educational services. Ms. Deanne Dibble, chief business official. Dr. Heather Reed, director to pupil services. Ms. Carolyn Norman, Director of Child Welfare and Attendance, Ms. Jamie Fisher, Director of Instructional Support Services, and Ms. Patty Duell, the Director of Classified Personnel. Also, I want to acknowledge the staff of Barstow STEM Academy. This group of dedicated teachers and individuals have been here all year making distance learning and hybrid learning possible. I'd like to start with our fifth grade team, Jose Rubio. Brian Gipford, and Danielle Delaney. Our sixth grade team, Donna Gregg, Mary DeVera, and Caitlin Blackwood. Our seventh grade team, Christina Wynn, Olivia Dilbeck, and Jordan Frederigo. And finally, our eighth grade team, Charles Warmby, Deanne Flores, and Trish Baca. We also have teachers that cross all of the grade levels including our PE teachers, Justin Malin and Juliana Ramirez, our band teacher, Jonathan Pate, and our amazing school counselor, Ms. Candace Rose. To start our program tonight, I would like to introduce our student speaker for this evening. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Isabella Verdugo. Good afternoon, my STEM peers. It is such an honor to have the opportunity to speak at our 8th grade promotion. These past years have gone by so fast. Even though this diff year was different, we all managed to push through this year and create special memories with each other. It was very unique and special, a year that no one was going to forget. Starting off with the yardstick high fives with Dr. Williams and the temperature checks by Miss Sally. We all started the year off with discouragement, but finished off strong by going back to school. I'm not going to lie. Some things were very frustrating during distance learning, like Mrs. Flores' Ed Puzzles. Those nights, my computer and I battled. Thanks, Mrs. Flores. Not only did I learn lots of math, but lots of patience and endurance. In Ms. Dilbeck's class, how is a yearbook going to get accomplished? But luckily, things got creative, and the yearbook was completed successfully. I am so grateful to have been able to capture all these years' memories through a camera lens. Getting back to school was a joy that I thought I would never have. Who would have thought that kids would really be excited to go back to school? Although our classes weren't full and we still had human interaction blocking shields, we still managed to learn in fun ways. Again, this year was very different. When we got back to the limited days that we have had here, we had experienced hands-on science with rocket balloons in Ms. Baca's class, and getting to see our friends while doing relay races was a good time in Ms. Ramirez's class. 
All of these experiences have taught us to rise up and become the young scholars that Mr. Wombie tells us we should be. Thank you STEM educators, Dr. Williams, and our office staff for making our years here the best as STEM's class of 2021. We are now prepared to become the best high school students as the future Aztecs class of 2025. Thank you, Isabella. It's been wonderful to have students back on campus since we made the switch to hybrid learning. Now is my opportunity as principal to address the eighth grade promoting class one more time. I suppose that I've put off writing and giving this speech for about as long as I could. If you're watching this video as it airs online Wednesday night, please know that I'm recording this now on Tuesday in the evening. While it's not really amazing that you can record a video one night and play it the next, really all spectacular at all, the words that I wanted to share tonight just wouldn't come out. I didn't have writer's block. I knew exactly what I wanted to stay, say, but I think I tried to put off this speech for as long as I could. I think it's because I wish our time here didn't have to come to an end. Never has the first school and the last day of school been so close in the same year. But it's not the first day of eighth grade that I think about today. It's the first day of fifth grade. I know I feel this every year when I look at the eighth graders, but it's hard to see this group of students cross the stage without thinking about the fresh-faced 10-year-olds that walked onto our campus for the first time on the first day of fifth grade. Some of you were an absolute mess. I still, can't, I still can't believe some of you got lost going from room eight to room nine. I mean, we designed it for the classes to be right next to each other. We were trying to make it easy on purpose. I think of that first day as much as I think about the first day of eighth grade. Now we all know the time that we lost during the pandemic lockdown, but this year, we utilize distance learning and we're able to get back to the business of school, even though we had to do so from our own homes. And there was a lot. Distance learning, distance testing, drive through pickups, sicknesses, vaccines, Chromebooks, no internet, hotspots, t-shirts, hybrid learning, on and on and on. There was a lot of stuff that happened this year. But every time when we would sit down to adjust what we needed to do as a school to continue moving forward, I would say the same thing to anyone who would listen. Don't worry, eighth grade has got it taken care of. I knew I could pop into any online Google Meet, any room, and that the eighth grade would be moving right along. I knew that your teachers were gonna do the hard work that's necessary to make distance learning feel like real learning. I knew whatever email I sent home and whatever changes were happening at school, that your families would do whatever it would take was necessary to keep you on track at home. And I knew no matter what situation that this eighth grade class found themselves in, that they would excel. It's often said that adversity reveals a person's true character. If that's true, and the group walking across the stage this evening is some of the finest people that I've ever had the good fortune to be around. I have given some version of this speech at the end of every school year to a group of would-be high schoolers for the past six years. Every year, my joy and excitement at seeing what those students have accomplished has been overmatched by their family in attendance. It would be disingenuous on my part not to acknowledge the fact that this year I also get to make, the, make these remarks as a parent. To my son Gabriel, thank you for sharing your school with your dad. Like all of the parents who are watching tonight, 
It is a privilege to see you walk across the stage and take your first steps into high school. I know the steps themselves are symbolic, but they felt very, very real to watch. As a teacher and a principal for the last 18 years, I've only had one goal, to make my classroom or my school a place that I would want my own children to attend. I have been fortunate to feel that way every day that I've been blessed to be principal at Barstow STEM Academy. So finally, to the Aztec class of 2025. August will be here soon, and I fully believe and truly hope that you will get to walk onto the campus of Barstow High School on the first day of your freshman year in much of the same way I did 27 years ago. We already know that four years goes by very quickly. I'm confident that you will do amazing things. Even though the primary goal of high school is to prepare you for life after high school, I offer this advice to help you through your journey. Deadlines can be tough, term papers, can be a drag. But if you've learned anything from our time together, know that the STEM staff already knows that you've got this. This eighth grade crew can handle anything. Students, family, and friends, please join me in the presentation of the Barstow STEM Academy, class of 2021. Ricardo Alfredo Ibarco the third. Juan Al Hatawi. Araya Monet Avila. <laughs> Madeline Nicole Ayala. Aiden <laughs> Walker Banks. Ruby Becerra Guevano. <laughs> Zachary Robert Bengal. Claire E. Blanton. <laughs> Eliza Gray Vanell. Mia Elaine Bernal. <laughs> Jaslyn Geraldine Camacho. Mariana Reina Carrillo. Yeah. 
Gabriela and Gabriel Chavez. Jade Lynn Chavez. Jeremy Lucas Chisholm. Timothy Jared Craig. Danica Atrina Yvette Lee Daniels. <laughs> Landon Donald Duke Depew. Jonathan Lee Desjardins Wiggins. Yeah. Tyler Jacob Donnelly. Emerson Angelina Eagle. Yeah. Everett Alfred Echeverria. Yeah. Jocelyn Estrada Maya. Long Deborah Fields. Yeah. No way, Israel Flores. Esmeralda Flores. <laughs> Joslyn Franco. Raymond Richard Garcia. Yeah. Arthur Floyd Krishna Glenn. Sadie Mariah Gray. <laughs> Justin Timothy Hepley. Joe Hammock. Okay. 
Isabel Christina Hernandez. Vincent Constantine Hines. Clementine Rose Jaramillo. <laughs> Carlos Javier Jimenez. Anya Saeed Carmel. <laughs> Aloka Benaya Kashala. Haley Rose King. <laughs> Victoria Annabelle King. James Kruger. <laughs> Reina Angelina Lock. Octavio Lopez. <laughs> Serena Alexis Lopez Peterson. Jordan Erica Lynn Lowe. Yeah. Miguel Angel Malagon. Janae Mensipit. <laughs> Isabel Celine Mayberry. Kayala Makana Malani Miller. <laughs> Michael Anthony Morales. <laughs> Cruz Santiago Nava. Nelson. 
business in Chiasagüe. Isaiah Ochoa. Ariana Perez. Richard Kevin Rangel Alvarado. Kaden Jesse Reyna Cobble. <laughs> Isabella Ava Rain Reyna Cobble. J.J. Jesus Rivera Mendez. Duke Anthony Robinson. Ezekiel Rodriguez. <laughs> Kiara Yesenia Roman. Silva. Alina 
Clarissa Sluter. Liliana Yesenia Solorzano. Thomas Michael Cernical. Catalina Nicole Tyler. Catherine Stephanie Umana. <laughs> Adelina Jesse Vega. Isabella Verdugo. <laughs> Serena Villalobos. Jonas Tyler Webb. <laughs> Gabriel Ryan Williams. Christine Zamora. <laughs> David Isubio Zavala. A friend of mine named Tim Garvin used to teach with me at Barstow High School. To say he taught with me feels like an incredible understatement. His business card said band teacher, but he was so much more than that. If you don't believe me, find your parents or someone in your family that used to be in the band. Garve used to say, when the world hates you, never forget that Garve loves you. I'm really starting to understand how he felt. No matter what comes next, never forget that STEM loves you. Thank you all very much for joining us here tonight. It's been a privilege and an honor. My name is Vinnie Williams, and I'm the proud principal of Barstow STEM Academy. Congratulations, STEM Academy Class of 2021 and Aztec Class of 2025. Go Aztecs!